Development Commercialization, in MMD, who collaborates with early development analytical research and process research to categorize and deliver active drug to basically supply all preclinical and, pre and clinical studies. So basically, this team is responsible for ensuring that all of our compounds are pure. It's really important for patient safety and regulatory requirements that we know what's in our compounds. Um, so what kind of uh, tests do you do to ensure the uh, purity of these? Some of the tests that we do are uh, HPLC analysis to assess the uh, purity of that. Yeah. Uh, GC uh, testing to ensure that no salt is present. And then we want to look maybe for the presence of water or even uh, extraneous metals. And sometimes the purities are like are bad, and sometimes you can live with them. You just need to know what they are. Right. Once they get to above a certain level, then we need to start um, digging a little deeper and identifying exactly what they are. Steve's team uses sophisticated equipment to answer all kinds of analytical puzzles, and he's going to show me one today. So this is called DART. Steve, what does DART stand for? Uh, DART stands for Direct Analysis in Real Time. Okay. And the DART is a alternative ionization source that's used with a conventional mass spectrometer. Okay. And it's, how big is it? It's just this part right here? It's just the, the, the blue can, there, as they refer to. Okay. It is considered the DART. So I'm going to introduce a solid sample directly into the DART surface. Okay. And that's, that's like getting dropped right into midair there. Mm -hmm. Is that where the action happens? That's where, that's where everything happens. So the helium gas is blowing out uh, the canister part. It's assisting in the ionization process. And then the vacuum source is drawing in the ions that uh, will then be detected by the mass spectrometer. So Steve's passed it through. So what we do, what we're seeing on the data display is this is when Steve introduced the sample. Uh -huh. So right now you can see this is the background. There's absolutely no ions being in the mass spec. So maybe if Steve, if you want to focus here, just pass it through one more time, you can see how fast the response this is. This is fast. And compared to what? I mean, how long does this usually take? So typically, so right now Steve's passing it through. And so you can see, we can tell right when it's going to get into the mass spectrometer. Wow. You can see there's the ion of interest that we're looking at passed through the mass spectrometer. Cool. So typically what we would see, uh, even the fastest LC analysis, probably two to three minutes, we can do probably in seconds passing samples. So what else do you, might you use it for besides analyzing active drug in early development? So there are a couple of things that we do. One is for reaction monitoring. So if you imagine uh, a round bottom flask and the chemistry taking place, you can easily just touch your solution and pass it through the, the dart to monitor how it's reacting in, in, in space. One other uh, test that we've done is counterfeit analysis. We were able to answer a customer complaint that was received at Merck about a, a capsule not being what they thought it was. Right. So we passed the standard of a Merck compound through, worked really nice in the dart, and then passed the counterfeit, and sure enough, it wasn't what they thought it was. Oh, wow. So within seconds, we could rule out that, yes, this is was a counterfeit and help right. the process. Right back to the customer. And get back to the customer. That's yes. awesome. So can we do a test now? Can we see how this thing works? Sure, sure. Okay. Um, now, so, I have a tablet I brought with me. I don't know if you Sure, can. let's give it a shot. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. Okay, so here is the ibuprofen tablet. We scuffed it up a little bit for a better reading. Right, we want to remove some of the outer coating to get uh, okay. better access to the active ingredient inside. All right. Okay, so now we just simply introduce it into the path of the helium. And we're seeing a really good signal on the mass spectrometer. So you've already gotten some kind of a reading. Right. Yeah. And what you can see also is the tablet is still intact. Right. So we could do a more analysis on this if we needed to. And here's your ion right here. You see very easily the M plus water addict of ibuprofen. If you're in railway and you need some compound analyzed fast and effectively, why don't you contact Roy or Steve here? 
It doesn't work for everything, but a good percentage of the compounds we do see either an M plus water or whatever adducts you can see very nicely on the dark. But also in West Point we have a unit which uh, Leah Bueller is more than willing, she'll run samples for anyone in West Point. So those are the two right now. Okay, cool. So call today. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Yeah, great. Thanks so much. You're great.